One of the advantages of Google Groups is that you can choose to subscribe to some of your uh, groups right in your email inbox and no longer have to visit the My Group service in order to read and to post to certain groups. For example, today I'm going to choose to visit the Workshop Week group. And I'm going to start by going to My Groups and finding the Workshop Week uh, Google Group Conference. And I can see that there's been a fair amount of activity in this group um, over the last few days. If I go ahead and uh, select My Membership, I can see that right now I'm set to either receive, well right now I'm set to receive a digest email, getting up to 25 new messages in a single day, an abridged email, or a regular email as each uh, post arrives. Um, and with that, I can uh, set up a filter and label in Gmail. If I had chosen no email, that means that I would have to visit the group in order to find out uh, the discussion that's going on. So now that I know that I'm getting an abridged email, I can go ahead and open up the Gmail service by clicking on Mail. In this case, I've already done so. I have some on my left tab. And I can see, there it is, the Workshop Week News, the Digest for Workshop uh, Week News Conference. If I highlight that uh, email and I go ahead under the More label, and choose to filter messages like these. Google or Gmail is going to make a prediction that if it is from the listserv, workshopweeknews.blitzschool.org, I can uh, filter these kinds of emails in the future. So I'm going to go ahead and choose the create filter with the search. I'm going to choose, in my case, to skip the inbox and archive it. I'm going to choose to apply the label um, I haven't created a label for this conference yet, so I'm going to go ahead and choose uh, a new label. And in this case, I'm going to create a label called Group. And every time uh, that I receive an email uh, from this, or an abridged email from this group, um, I can go ahead and uh, see it right from my inbox. You'll notice that I've also clicked also apply filter to nine matching conversations, which just means uh, that uh, it will uh, go back in time and apply this filter to the nine emails that I've received from this group thus, thus far. I go ahead and create the filter. I'll notice then on my left hand side that there it is all of the emails from Workshop Week uh, 2012 group. So that's the simplest way to create, filter, and label a uh, Google group email. And then from there, I can always select the email. And when I choose to reply, you'll notice that it's going to reply to the Workshop Week news um, at blakeschool.org, which means that it'll post to Workshop Week news.